Egypt expert Alejandro Jimenez Serrano struck every archaeologist's dream when he uncovered a 4,000-year-old untouched tomb in Qubit el Hawa. Dr. Jimenez Serrano and his team had been probing the site on the western bank of the Nile, opposite Aswan, hoping to make a discovery equal to Howard Carter's 1922 find of KV-62 in the Valley of the Kings. But when his team actually spotted something unusual sticking out of the sand, they couldn't quite believe their luck, and the tomb was open for the first time in four millennia. Thankfully, Channel 4's Secrets of Egypt's Valley of the Kings series captured the astonishing moment on camera. The narrator explained in 2019. In Aswan, Alejandro is ready to open a tomb he believes to be that of a noble who lived 4,000 years ago. The opportunity to open an undisturbed tomb like this is one most Egyptologist will never see in their lifetime. His team have inserted a box covered in acid-free paper to stop the coffin from collapsing. Dr. Jimenez Serrano then explained why his team needed to be so delicate handling the coffin. He said. We are going to move the stone slab with a lot of care, the weight is around 300 kilos, so if it falls down on your feet, it will hurt. The smell of wood, wow, I cannot believe this. This burial consisted of two coffins, the outer coffin and the inner coffin. The outer coffin is seriously damaged by termites, but the inner coffin is in a very good condition, thank God, we have been very lucky. The documentary went on to explain how the tomb showed consistency with the one found by Mr. Carter 100 years ago. It added. Among the debris next to the coffin, Alejandro spots something extraordinary, model boats, similar to the ones found in Tutankhamun's tomb. The tombs at Qubit el Hawa were used for multiple burials, leaving the hill a complex maze of tunnels and burial shafts, branching off in all directions. Alejandro thinks this tomb's position hid it from grave robbers. It's an exceptional discovery. Dr. Jimenez Serrano then detailed his excitement, while still expressing his concerns not to damage the contents. He continued. I think that the last time we had a set like we have here was 70 years ago. Due to its position, the sand covered the top of the shaft, and they could not see it, so it was something like Tutankhamun, a lucky strike. It's a great responsibility to do the things the best, extract coffin from the tomb without damaging. The discovery comes as Tutankhamun still finds himself relevant today, following the opening of an exhibition in London. More than 150 artifacts have traveled from around the world to the Saatchi Gallery for Tutankhamun. Treasures of the Golden Pharaoh. For the first time ever, 60 items have left Egypt before they return to their permanent home in the new Grand Egyptian Museum next year. Recently closed in Paris, the exhibition became France's most visited of all time, with an attendance of over 1.4 million.